What if I told you that the numbers 3, 11, 17, 29, 41, 47, 53, and 59 held the secrets to timing the market perfectly? Well, you would probably think I was crazy. But in today's video, I'm going to prove to you that I'm not crazy by introducing you to the ATT, or what I'm coining as the advanced time technique. Now, I am unsure if I'm the first one to share this method publicly, as I did not learn this from anybody. Nobody showed me this method. So if you know anybody who has done this before me, put it in the comments, because I would love to know if there's anybody out there who discovered this as well. What I'm going to be saying in this video is going to sound like magic. It's not going to sound real. It's going to sound unconvincing for a little bit. Trust me, stick through it, please. What I'm going to show today is something that you are going to want to know. I promise you, this is some of the craziest stuff I've pretty much ever seen in trading, and I've been trading for a long, long time. We're going to go through two entire years worth of examples later in the video. We're going to be talking about how to apply the ATT to a high time frame. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to apply the ATT to a daily chart to predict 32 of the major turning points every single year. Now, there is ways to use the ATT intraday and understand every turning point in every single hourly candle. However, I'm going to reserve that for later and I'm going to teach that on my Patreon. So if you would like to join that, go ahead and hit the link in the description, join up if you want, watch this video first, see if you even care about the ATT method. And then if you want to learn how to apply it intraday and also the rest of my strategy, you could join the Patreon down in the description. And if you don't want to join the Patreon, make sure to join the Discord at least because I do frequent giveaways. So the first requirement of the ATT method is a time span of 60 units if that be 60 days in a quarter on asset classes that have 20 trading days a month right so for example the s p 500 futures have 20 trading days a month so that means in three months or a quarter there's going to be 60 trading days per quarter in the s p 500 so the picture that i have below illustrates the first quarter of 2014 and this is how you would apply the att method to this the three means the third unit in that time span so one two three this is the third candle in the 60 unit time span and boom that goes this is completely different if you're doing it in an hourly candle so if you want to learn about that don't go make assumptions you're going to be wrong this candle is the 11th candle inside of the quarter turning point the 17th candle inside of the quarter turning point notice how we're following the blue numbers the 29th candle inside of the quarter turning point that creates a low the 41st candle turning point that creates a low 47th candle turning point 53rd turning point 59 turning point and that's really the crux of the att it's actually really simple it's just this sequence of numbers applied to a time span of 60 uh, units so let's go into the chart and talk about uh, two years worth of example. And I'm gonna show you examples and exactly how to apply the ATT uh, in order to start predicting and anticipating uh, price swings forming in the market. So like I said, we're gonna go through all 2023 and 2024 for examples here. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is find the start of 2023. So I'm gonna zoom in on the chart here. It turns out that this is the first day of 2020. Three, as you can see, I hover. If you look down at the bottom, it says 2023 one. So this is the first day of 2023 here. And we can start counting. So remember the numbers. So these are the numbers 3, 11, 17, 29, 41, 47, 53, 59. Okay. And uh, just as a note, these can be one off uh, in either direction. Ideally, they're perfect, but they can be one off in either direction. So let's start counting. One, two, three. This is the three. So this is the three of this quarter. Boom, turning point. Okay, let's continue. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. What does eleven land on? Turning point. Okay. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So this is a case where it can be one off. Where you have seventeen in the middle here, well, it's already made its turning point on sixteen. So it can be one off that's all right uh, usually it's not one off but it can be that is the one kind of inaccuracy to the system but either way it's highly highly accurate in determining turning turning points uh, and this is why these examples are good because you get to see edge cases like that 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So this is where 29 lands, but it can be one off. So you can move that to 30, and that's your turning point. So, so far we have our three turning point, our 11, our 17, our 29. Okay, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 is the turning point right here. Now we could go 47, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 47 is right here. It could be one off. So this could be our 47 turning point. Uh, 40, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 is right here. Okay, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59 is right here. So I did that very quickly uh, just to kind of illustrate this. We're going to go through all the way to current day. I want to re-go through this one more time to make sure you really understand. We started at the start of the year, okay, and we're going to go through to... Uh, we're going to we're going to go from the start of the year and we're going to count like this uh, every single quarter. OK, hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to count like this every single quarter. So this was the start of the quarter. This was the start of the first quarter of 20. This was the start of the first quarter of 2023. One, two, three. Three is the first number in our sequence that creates a turning point. Eleven creates a turning point. OK, in this case, 17 was here. But it can be one off. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is. Okay. Uh, oftentimes it's not one off. Sometimes it is. And a way that you could kind of go and see this also is like notice how if 17 was here, it's not really trading into anything. But because 17 is here, it's actually trading into a fair value gap. It's trading into a lot of things. So a lot of times if you line these up with exactly when they're supposed to be trading into things, as you can see here, on... Uh, this particular one, which is the 29, we trade right up into the midpoint of that wick. That's perfect. Okay. So 29, they can be one off. 41, here, turning point. 47, here, turning point. 53, here, turning point. 59, here, turning point. Let's move on to the next month. Okay. Uh, and again, we start at the start of the new month. Okay. We don't count by 60 and then go another 60. We start at the start of the new month. Uh, Okay, so let's move on to the next quarter. And again, we start at the start of the new quarter. We don't start um, after just 60 more days. We start at the start of the new quarter. So let's do three. Ready? One, two, three. Turning point. Okay, awesome. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, this could be one off. That calls the high. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 would land here. It could be one off. That calls the low. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 would land here. It can be one off. That calls the low. Notice that the very next candle, it only goes a tick below. So that 29 is calling the low here. Uh, now we have 41, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 calls this particular low okay and now what do we have next we have 47 next in our list so we could go 42 43 44 45 46 47 calls this low isn't that just interesting now we have 48 49 50 51 52 53 calls the high okay 54 55 56 57 58 59 calls the new low so this is the next quarter that I just showed you. And again, I'm showing you these live. This is, you could go onto your charts and see this. This is not, this is not just random price things. The, the whole first quarter of 2023 completely predicted. Almost every single major turning point completely predicted. Second quarter of 2023. Boom, 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 boom. And it misses some here and there, right? Like you miss... You're missing out on this one and this one and this one and this one. But this, the, the crazy thing is that it's actually capturing and telling you where the turning points in the market are going to form and what particular day they're going to form. It's not necessarily uh, an entries thing. It doesn't give you an entry, but it gives you a time to understand when are uh, the markets going to form these things. So let's continue. Okay, this is the third quarter of 2023. We have one, two, three. That's your three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's your eleven. It could be one off. Boom. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's your 17. It could be one day off. That calls the actual high, right? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Here's your 29. You could say 29 called the low, or you could argue that 29 called the high, right? Because, um, you know, 29 lands right here because from 17, which was here, you go 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So you could say 29 called the low, or because it could be one candle in either direction, you could also say it called the high. We're just going to leave it uh, at the high for now. So that's your 29. Now you have 41, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Right here, it could be one off. So this is the first example in three six like like eight months where it doesn't call an actual turning point there's a few candles after it oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh right uh so 42 43 44 45 46 47 there's your 47 right 48 49 50 51 52 there's your 53 okay and then your 59 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Your 59 ends up here, which uh, isn't really a turning point or anything. This is kind of a dud, and I would argue that this is our first dud. It doesn't really call a, a, a new move or anything like that. So I'm going to color duds in uh, green where it doesn't actually work. So that's now three quarters in a row where this sequence of numbers is somehow calling almost every turning point in the market. If you can't understand how powerful this is, I don't know what to tell you and start to think about it. I told you that this could be utilized intraday on intraday price action. Every hour you could do this. Again, I'm not teaching that here, but if you're smart enough, you can figure it out. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the next quarter, right? We want to start, uh, if this was nine, we want to start in inside of 10, which is going to be here. So again, what are our numbers? 3, 11, 17, 29, 41, 47, 53, 59. Engrave those in your fucking mind, okay? 1, 2, 3. Boom. That's the low. That's our 3, and that's the low. Insane, okay? So let's go uh, to 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? And 11 could be one off. That's your high. Boom. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What does that create? 17 is marking a new high for a new leg lower. Kind of suspicious. That's weird. Why does that work? Okay, 17. Uh, and then we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29, what does 29 call? 29 calls the end of this retracement. Okay, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41. What does 41 call? 41 calls the lowest price. Uh, well, it goes a little bit lower by tick. 41 calls basically the end to this retracement and the start to a new move up. Okay, let's talk about 47. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. What does 47 call? 47 calls when that actual expansion starts, which can be a function of these times. It's not only the ability to predict, uh, to predict uh, when swing points are going to form, it's also the ability to, to uh, kind of predict when the expansions in the market are going to form. So that's your 47. Let's talk about our 53. Uh, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Oh, it just so happens that the one swing high, the one pullback that gets created up here is created off of a 53. Okay. Uh, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. This is our second dud. This did nothing. <laughs> This 59 did nothing, okay? So, so far we've had two duds over 3, 6, 9, 12 months. Over an entire year of price action, we've had two duds. That is insane. That almost makes no sense. I don't know why this works. You don't know why this works. I know it works. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's going to make me a lot of fucking money. <laughs> so, let's start uh, on 2024 now. So this is current year, okay? Uh, we're almost to current price action also. So what's the first thing that we need to look for? Our three, okay? 
One, two, three. This is where our three lands are. It can be one candle off. Okay, we have the leniency for it to be one candle off. That calls the low. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is your eleven. It calls the very next low in the market. What's next? Our seventeen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Our seventeen uh, is right here. So this is an example of uh, it being a little bit late, right? It missed it by one, two days. It missed the high by two days. Over over a year of price action, it's never missed by two days until now. So we'll call this one a dud, okay? Uh, right? So that was our 17. Let's do our 29 now, uh, which is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 lands right on the high okay um now let's do our 41 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 lands right on the low okay let's do our 47 now uh 42 43 44 45 46 47 lands right on the high okay okay surely not our 53 48 49 50 51 52 53 it's one off lands right on the lands right on the fucking low now let's do our 59 uh 54 55 56 57 58 our 59 lands right on the low so for the first quarter of 2024 this low predicted this low predicted dud okay one dud high predicted low predicted high predicted low predicted low predicted and why this is so useful to your trading is because if you have high time frame levels uh, think about this. If price is coming down in or up into one of your levels, let's imagine you had, um, let, let's, let's just imagine you had a level right here and price is coming down into your level on the uh, 29th candle, you know that that's highly likely to form a turning point. So you know that your level is highly likely to potentially work, right? So let's move on to the next uh, quarter. Uh, you want to start on the quarter, right? So this is the fourth. Uh, let's go again. Here we go. Again, these are the levels we want to look at. We got one, two, three. This is three. It was one off. Okay, we allow for one off. That calls the high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is an interesting one. I would argue that this is not a dud. Uh, this pushes up. And on the 11th, that's when the actual expansion starts. Remember when I told you that partially what can happen is that this could showcase um, when expansions are going to begin so the expansion begins on the 11th candle let's go to 17 uh, 12 13 14 15 or 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 was right here uh, i'd argue you know one off this was the start of the up move in this case it was two off is that a dud? I don't think that's a dud. It's insane that we're even saying that two off is inaccurate because this is so unimaginably accurate. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous how accurate this is. Uh, so 17, uh, let's keep going. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 gives you here one off. It called that low in the market right here this is a daily chart we are predicting years of price action here um years 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 gives you the high boom right down to where well probably 47 42 43 44 45 46 47 is right here what is 47 predict in this particular case well this is where like when you're trading, it could be so useful because price traded right down into this order block. Again, you have one candle of room on on these things, so you could give it one on each side. It traded right down into this order block within the range of 47 being acceptable. That is like a high, high probability buy, for example. Um, so this was your 47. This was when the expansion started. Let's talk about a 53. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 53 is right here. It could be one off. One off predicts the low right here. Let's talk about 59, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 predicts the low right here. Okay, so let's talk about the next month. Notice even in 2024, this is still working. High predicted, expansion predicted, low predicted, low predicted, high predicted, expansion exp uh, predicted, low predicted, low predicted. 
insane stuff here literally insane stuff uh let's go into the final this is current price action can we want to start on the seventh so first we go three one two three you could argue that three is the dud that's okay uh let's go 11 four five six seven eight nine ten yep 11 predicted the all-time high nice 12 13 14 15 16 17 here's your 17 it could be one off it predicted the high it predicted the high right now let's do our 29 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 so there's the 29. What does the 29 predict in this case? The 29 predicts the start of the expansion. And it could also be one off. If we do give it the benefit of being one off, it predicts the actual low. Uh, now let's move on to the 41. Uh, this is 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So the 41 is going to happen on uh, this date in the future. So I just walked you through one almost one and a half years of price action and the amount of duds are one two three four it was wrong four times in a year and a half of price action which is ridiculous so hopefully you could see how powerful uh this att method is uh the advanced timing technique extremely powerful extremely accurate to find high quality turning points especially if you use a uh, kind of a like a level if you have a high time frame level when there's supposed to be a turning point too it's uh it's highly highly accurate uh it's highly 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 respected in the market and uh yeah hopefully this helps like i said there's a way to do this hour by hour minute by minute and i'll be sharing that in the patreon so if you want to join the discord go ahead and join the description down below and there's a patreon you could join up there as well so Hopefully this helped you.